Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode 28 in the Great Soviet Experiment. This is season one, and I am grumpy with the still sick voice and the still struggling cough, and we're here trying to repulse the Germans while um, we're very sick. So I'm opening up today just having a look at the entirety of our Western Front and considering that we had no Stalin line, i.e. no fortifications built along the rivers, um, we have done pretty well. Also considering that we didn't do any development in aircraft and we basically stayed with infantry all the way through, I'm, I'm not unhappy with where we are. The Germans, of course, have made um, a continued effort to get through up here, um, this being one of their big push areas. And we've made some efforts to go back in here, but um, we are struggling with equipment. I mean, look at this. And, um, you know, infantry equipment is dropping as well. So we're not doing well by any stretch of the imagination. So I think I'm going to have to make some serious changes because we are just not going to be able to produce enough equipment to to get our line back where we want it to be and push the Germans out of Russia unless we do something quite radical. And I'm thinking of making a composite unit. Now, let what am I saying when I mean a composite unit? Well, on the front at the moment, we've got two types of garrison units, which were the basic units we started off with to hold the line. And they are basically 16 width, just plain infantry, and 16 width with anti-air. Okay, so that we did that. That was, that was pretty good. Then we went and we developed, uh, uh, we'll leave mech out for a while, but we developed the 40 infantry width division and then the 26 uh, with infantry division with artillery um, and the 40 width with artillery. The trouble with the 40 width is that they run out of supply as in like very quickly and very fast. So if you field an army, even with half of them at f um, combat with the 40, they're out of supply in, when they're fighting uh, and we're not getting the benefit. So we went down to 26 now, um, uh, 26, now actually 26.4 might be too much, but 26, uh, let me just uh, find out for a minute here, divided by 26.4. No, no, that's still all right. 26.4 gives us three of those in a, in a stack. Oh, God, that cough. <clears throat> More editing, oh, I'll tell you. Uh, and we're running out of artillery units and we are running out of anti-air. So that's the 26 width artillery. So we've got four artillery in that one. But we also have a 20 width anti-air. Um, so what I'm actually thinking of doing is combining these two units and making a single uh, frontline unit, probably with the same um, designation as this one. Oh, actually, no, it's going to make it too hard to tell it apart. So that's what I'd like to do now, actually. We're going to make a composite unit. We're still going to keep 26.4 if we can, because we get three in a stack at that rate. So we probably need, first of all, to duplicate you. And we'll call you... Um, Frontline division, division, uh, twenty six C for composite. Oh, twenty six C for composite. <clears throat> um, More editing. <clears throat> so, I would like to be able to put rocket artillery in there, frankly. 
but not so soon. 22.4, interesting. Interesting. So the defensive, the defense goes down. Oh, the breakthrough went down by 14. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? What if we did this? Breakthrough went down by seven. Yeah, okay. 24. We add one inventory, 26. Oh, that's nice. Now, it does mean, though, that we have half the... Uh, air defense we had before, which means that the air can still affect us. Um, see, and this is going to be uh, number one, actually, because we're going to modify this later and we're going to add in um, some rocket artillery. We do need another symbol, though. And uh, my feeling on symbols is, well, general all-round infantry division, right? How about that? Uh, though we used that one previously, I'm sure. <laughs> Wolf Brigade from the um, anime. Maybe not. How about... <laughs> no. The Bear Brigade. There you go. Good. We love bears. This is number one, the Bear Brigade. No, oh, look, we didn't use the spades either. Okay. All right, so that's our composite unit. It's down. It's got more infantry than the anti-air with one less anti-air. And it's got one less artillery to the infantry division, the 26th Infantry Division, but it does have one more infantry. And it comes in at, it comes in, it comes in at the point that I didn't save it. That's where it comes in. So we remove one, we add one, we add one, and we get 26. You are... You are, you are, you are, oh gosh. Duplicate, thank you. Front line division 26.c.1 uh, with the new symbol, which is the, oh, actually. Hmm, the eagle? Sure, let's see how we go with the eagle. Um, now, what could we change or add in here? Ooh. Defense plus three, breakthrough plus three, soft attack plus 21. Ooh. Oh, that's tempting. That is tempting. Breakthrough, soft attack. Oh, that is tempting. No, we're not going to do it. We are not going to do it. We're going to stay with this one. Like so. Uh, like so. Hold in the air. Yep, three, one. Frontline division 26C1. Save. That only costs 10. Where is it? Don't lie to me. I'll find out if you lie to me. There it is. So we're going to try this out as our new composite unit. And that's what we're going to be aiming to develop. The composite unit now. And um, motorized rocket artillery soft attack plus 30%. Ooh, yeah, we want that one. <clears throat> and that one's still going. So I think we also want um, okay, what have we got going on over here? Hmm. 
I think we're pretty good there. Nineteen forty five. Land doctrine. Land doctrine is we've done it. Fine, good. Um, I think we should also be working on our tactical bombers. So let's do that. Okay, now. Now that we've decided to do wonderful things with our army, let's start with Army Sevastopol. And quite frankly, there are 18. You are just about to become composite units, everybody. <clears throat> we don't get enough artillery, we don't get all that, we don't get that, we don't get any of that. But we get back some stuff. So that's got to be good for us, you would think. And I'm going to train you. Now, you have 18, <clears throat> but we need more. So we need 18... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Um, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I think that we have to do something. And you four are going to be attached to Army Sevastopol. So get yourself down there. Lickety split, young fellow, my lad. And uh, we're going to do the same with you as well. Oh man, I hope this works out for the best. <laughs> because if it doesn't, we're in serious trouble. Okay, so now, what we need more than anything else at the moment is infantry equipment and rocket artillery. Infantry, anti-air and rocket. That's what we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy an infantry an artillery an anti-air and a code rocket artillery. And we're going to move you all to the front of the queue. And at the beginning, we're just going to add one of each. And when we've got the one of each, we're then going to go back and add two of each, etc., etc., etc. Until we get what we need. Oh, I moved the wrong one up. My bad. But at some point, rocket artillery is going to have to be the same as every all the other artilleries. Um, yeah, mm, four out of ten. Okay, so one each. Now let's make sure we got four in the mill. One, two, three, four. Yep. We might want to be making some more. One. Two. Three. 
Peraí. Tá bom. Okay, there's an easier way to do this. And it looks something like this. Oh man, the coughing. The unremorseless coughing. Okay, there you go, we're set up. I think we're pretty well set up anyway. Um, decisions are available. Mm, no. Okay. So, if we go now and have a look at you, for example, you're in pretty bad shape. Now about we go and have a look at you? You're in pretty bad shape too, Mr. Golikov. Ah, uh, Govorov, sorry. Ooh, Mr. Govorov. You're in bad shape. Um, let's select everybody and just put you into training mode. And let's see what we can do with you. You're an infantry expert. Oh, that's excellent. But it's saying you can have another trait. Like what? Organizer? It says I can unlock, oh, no, or does it? No, it doesn't actually. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Hmm. They really want to push into Moscow. Now, Kuznetsov. We can afford to give you an... Oh, look, you're a commando. Ooh, camouflage expert. Damage redu reduction against Kaz. Mm. Paratroopers. No, skirmisher. Divisions do not lose their entrenchment bonus when attacking. No, I'm not too sure about that one. How to supply minus 25? Mm. Are there anything, is there anything else in there we can have? Oh, I quite like camouflage expert. Reduction of CAS. That's pretty good. Um, and of course now we're going to give you the new frontline division all or nothing <clears throat> and um, we're going to train you we'll put you into training so that we get your up <clears throat> now this is really a question of holding the line oh look at this we have extended yeah okay that's not too shabby We need to be getting on with some other things. Now, we've, we had some armoured units in training, I believe. Yep. What are you? Ah, yeah, okay. don't know where you are. Royce? Where are you? Oh, you're down there. I think we put you into training as well, young man. Meretskov. Now, what have you got? 
The, oh, infantry leader. Oh, division attack plus 10%. Yes. <clears throat> we will certainly take that. And we will actually, you know what? Let's move you to Kharkov and put you there. Because that would be a really good place for you to be right now. Especially seeing your training. We'll get you off the front line. Get your units up to strength and organization, and then we'll be sweet to go. Right, we still have 22 divisions in here. We've got an other armored unit. And you can go there. Now. We can upgrade our army. Yes, we can. The Mech Division 20 width. So we have the Mechanizerovani Corpus. Two, four, five. Five of those. And we upgrade with the Mech Division 20. Which, um... I think we could probably do with some more medium tanks, frankly. So we've got one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. And none there. One, two, three. Toad artillery and toad anti here, and none of the above. Okay. Uh, now, select all. Where are you? Oh, you're on the front line. That's, that's a thing. Oh, well, you know what? If you're on the front line, you might as well do front line things. That'll get you some experience. There you go. Perfect. I think that seems like an excellent plan. Okay. Hmm. Novgorod is looking a bit exposed at the moment. Hmm. That should keep them busy for a minute while they try and figure out what's going on there. We're pretty good at keeping the Germans busy. Mind you, we could also be pretty good at bleeding them out. Ooh, we've got a nice pilot. We haven't had one of those for a while. The front seems quite stable. It does. And so... One... Two... Three... Four... Probably not a good idea to be doing this on the front line, but you know what? It is what it is. We're just going to have to deal with it. And so, what we're going to do in here, is we're going to take all of these, and turn them all to our new front line division. And watch the training carry on. Now, how are we doing? Oh, look at the artillery dying on the vine. 71. 71's okay. Motorized, not too bad. Support equipment, all right. 
medium tanks, nah, dodgy, fighters, shocking, naval bombers, we got naval bombers, we got no attack bombers though. Okay, how are we doing over here? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. And... 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 So... I think we can stop making mech cores. This will be our last mech unit. However, if we do have units just sitting around doing nothing, we should employ them to make uh, holes in our enemy's lines and push them back. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Um, but we do need to keep you occupied as well. So that you don't come in there and assist. Okay. Yeah, nope. Now. Still not up to combat ready strength. Now. You, by the same token, aren't either. Now, where are you? Number 19. General Kuznetsov. Where are you? Ah, General Kuznetsov. You need some more units. 19. 20. Ah, uh, no. 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. General. And Leningrad. Oh, yes. And Leningrad needs some more as well. One. Two. Three. Ah, oh, sorry. 19. 20, 21, 22. 23, 24. Okay. That's looking reasonable. Now, Army Leningrad. How are you doing? Oh, look at you. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we can let them get get forced back. I'm, I've no objection to losing that particular X. It is a little bit un, unprotected and it, it is on its own out there. Uh, although we could make some headway in here. Especially when they stop. That could be quite useful. How are we doing here? No, we're a long way from ready there. I think what we should start doing is swapping out units. So if we have some units up here, we've got one, two, three. So we could do them in threes. So we've got three ready. So let's go there and we'll take out these three. One, two, three. I'm going to sign them there. And then we'll go one, two, three, and assign them there. And we just want to make sure that they actually go down there to the line. Which they don't appear to want to do. So we can do that for them. There you go, that's better. Now that is strange too, because I thought you were at regular level, but you're not. Oh, oh, oh. unassigned divisions, where? Ah, you young man. In there please and get trained. And you three. You are going to become the new frontline divisions.
Very good. No divisions in basic training. Well, it's true, there aren't. From a fashion pack from Norway. No. Oh, that's looking a bit dodge. We should be able to hold that. Ah, interesting. What if we were to push into there? That doesn't look unreasonable, does it? Where are you? <laughs> so, one, two, three. Oh, you're not on the line. How interesting. What if we move you all to there? Look at... Oh, no. All to there. Eh? And then move you all to there. How would that sound? I think that would sound pretty good. Let's buddy you up first. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Even be all right going across there. Mm, might even be all right going into there. Yeah, there's some potential going on there. But it's hard for my gosh, Kiev's going to be going to be a very expensive city. <clears throat> all right, how are we looking down here? Still not up to standard. Where are you? You know what? Okay, how are we looking now? Oh my gosh, artillery is still going on the vine. Cancelled lend lease. Well, that's not very nice. You go there. Hmm. Well, looks like we're winning against that unit there. And I think we want to be winning against these guys here too, actually. Get some more power in there. Because we could get an encirclement, which would be good for us. Uh, and that might be the cliffhanger on which to leave this episode, everyone. Um, once again, my apologies for the coughing and the editing and the spluttering and the bad voice. Um, but gosh, I mean, hopefully it'll be gone soon. Um, but I hope you stay well, and I certainly hope you don't come down with this, whatever it is that I've got. Um, I mean, it's it's not a bad thing. It's really just a cold, but it, it's driving me nuts. So 
Please stay well, and I hope you don't get sick. Uh, and I will look forward to seeing you in the Gig Channel again very soon. Until then, uh, root for me as I'm as I'm trying an encirclement down here, and uh, hopefully we'll get some German units. Uh, and take care, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.